Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Because my background's a contact juggler, I do a lot of things called isolation. Now, what is isolation? Have you ever seen dancers where their head is still and their body moves around their head? There's also a lot of different other art forms that use isolations. Dancing, martial arts. Also, you might have seen the chicken where the head is still and you move the body and the, and the head stays in place. This is the concept of this. There's, there's people that do it with cards too. Here's what it looks like and then I'm gonna break it down. So this is the move. Now the balls are spinning in the center. Now I'm gonna change the focal point to the end, watch. I made an Instagram video about this ages ago. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but let's learn this. Let's start with one. Here's the ball. Now you know how to move it from finger to finger. If you haven't, click this video right there and go and check that out first. Now that you've seen that, check this out. From here is the spin. Right? This is something we already have learned. Now, we're going to isolate that spin. Watch. The ball stays there. And my hands move around it. So if I look to the camera, I'm trying to see that ball. So you're trying to focus on a spot in the distance and try and put the ball in there so it doesn't move. So your fingers have to move around it. So if I have to move the ball up and down, if I keep the ball still, my fingers move around it. So it's, it's probably easier with two balls to see this. Okay. One ball's gonna rotate around the other. So let's say if this one's isolated, watch the other one go around it. You see that? So this one's going around it. If I change the point, now this one will move. So you sort of stop your hand here and then move that one. And you stop your hand here and continue with this side. Now it's really hard to focus, but I think once you have multiple balls in there, it makes it a lot more easier. So what I'm doing here with four balls is I'm doing the same rotation, but opposite hands. You might have to slow this down to see this properly, but watch. I start off with it on my hands here. It's hard to see in the camera anyways. So let's say if the focal point is here in the center. That's what's happening. Both my hands are moving. If I pause one of the hands, watch how the other one moves a lot more. So if I'm here, this one is gonna stay there, isolate this ball here, and everything else moves around that. So there we go. That's something that you can practice, sit at home, get your multiplying billiard balls if you have any. Now there are other balls that you can buy, small little rubber balls would do the job. So yeah, until next time, see you in another video. Bye-bye, everyone.